Hello and welcome to RF Pro 5 minutes tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about parametric EM analysis in RF Pro. This is the new capability introduced in ADS 2022 update 2 release. So feel free to upgrade your ADS and give it a try. If you don't have ADS license, look in the description box below. I have provided a link to download the latest release of ADS and you can also request for a 30 day temp license for your trial. Before we start, remember one, two, three, subscribe to the channel, enable notification, like and share the video. All right, to get started, I have a very simple expand coupled line micro strip bandpass filter. Now, if you have been watching the video in this series, by now you should be very comfortable in creating a momentum or FEM analysis to be run on a circuit like this. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how you can sweep various process variation, which affects the final performance of this kind of circuit design. Now, to run any kind of sweep analysis, we first need to create a variable. Now, this variable can be created either on the fly or you can pre-create them under the parameters tab here. So when you click on parameter, you can click on plus icon and enable the variable which you want to define and then initialize it with the value you want to use. So for example, here I have created one variable under the parameters tab. The rest of them I will create on the fly so that you get a sense of both ways of doing it. Now to assign the process variation as a variable and then sweeping them, we need to simply go to options block here. Now under process variation, and I have already covered the basics of process variation in one of the earlier video in the same playlist. Have a look there for more detail. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is to add a dielectric layer. And I would like to assign a variation to this dielectric layer's thickness. Now, if you have a multi-layer dielectric, you can either specify a single thickness for all the layers or thickness variation in all the layers, or you can pick and choose the individual layer and then define a different you know, thickness bias. Now here, for this thickness bias, I would like to create a variable. The simple thing you need to do is just create a variable, and now you will have a variable assignment already given to you. Simply enter the value which you want to assign as a nominal value to that variable. Click on this plus icon, Variable is defined and now it is also added under the parameter list on the fly. So this way you can keep on defining the variable wherever you need. You don't need to define all of them upfront under the parameters tab. Now similarly, I would like to assign a variable to materials. And again, in this material, I will use the dielectric um, you know, material for my substrate. And in terms of permittivity, I would like to run some variation analysis. So I will go ahead and declare a variable with the name ER, initialize with a value zero. So now I have all my variable assigned at the right places. I can go to parameter sweep, select the perform parameter sweep, and then add a new sequence, select the variable which I would like to sweep. For example, here I have a dielectric height and I can sweep the dielectric height by a comma separated value. However, there are other uh, you know, methods available if you want to define sweep using those. So with simple comma separated values, I have defined minus 5%, 0%, which is the nominal value and plus 5%. Now, if you need to add more variables, you can add them in the same sequence. And once you do that, so by clicking on the second icon here, you add a new variable. And here let's pick ER and again as a comma separated value, I can pick minus five, zero and plus five to be the values I want to sweep it on. Now, because both of these are nested variables, you can see the total number of simulations are nine. Now, if you want to create an independent sweep, that means you want to sweep very many, you know, multiple things, but not in a nested fashion. So that way you can always click on the first icon and create a separate sequence and then, yeah, you know, assign the variable and, and enter the value for sweep. For this video, I'm going to just concentrate on this nested sweep. Now, once you create the sweep, rest of the process is like how you set up any 
uh, uh, no, other moment on or FEM simulation. So I'm going to go ahead and define my frequency range to be set from 6.5 gigahertz to 9.5 gigahertz. Select the simulator to be momentum or FEM. Now, no matter which simulator you pick, one thing you need to take care is select the generation two in terms of measure because the parameter sweep is only supported with the generation two measure. And once you are done, um, you can go ahead and start running the simulation. And now you can see all nine simulations have been created under the simulation tab. And now RF Pro will perform one simulation um, by one and to finish all the nine points. And you can click on respective uh, you know, simulation category to look at the log file. Now to save time, I already have my simulation done on the similar design. However, here, I selected zero, five, and 10% variation on both dielectric height and year. So once simulation is finished, you can open your S-parameter plot. And under this S-parameter plot, you can select S21. And then you can look about uh, the variables you have swept and select the combination for which you would like to see the value. For example, if I select zero, zero, that means the nominal condition of this filter, here is the transmission response. And now if you click on plus 5%, you can see how the response shifts on the lower side, plus 10%, and you can see how the response shifts on a lower side on a constant dielectric height. But if you want to select all the you know, variable values under a particular variable group, you can simply click on this icon here and it will select all of this. So currently I'm plotting three cross three, nine, uh, you know, combinations, and you can see the respective plots here. So this is a very exciting capability in 2022 update two. Feel free to go ahead and give it a try on your own designs and using the link uh, provided in the description box below this video. So that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Wish you all the best in your design work.